Jade from Four Rope Pets. If you're watching this video, you've probably been doing some research as to how to feed your pets a species appropriate raw meat diet, or you're already feeding raw and would like to know how to make your own treats to complement a raw meat diet. Now, one of the ways is by using a dehydrator. There are loads, and I mean loads of different types of dehydrators on the market, and it can be amazed to find one that's suitable for your needs often I, often I do get asked what is the best dehydrator I can get and to be fair I cannot advise you on what dehydrator to get at because it depends on your, uh, your financial status for one uh, can you uh, can you afford 20 pound can you afford 500 pound it all varies uh, then what do you expect from your dehydrator um, are you the type of person that's like I'd like to try it out first before actually committing or do you dive into the deep end and want to commit straight away? To, for me personally, it was, I want to try it first. If I don't like it, then there's, no, no, there's nothing wasted if I just spend £20 on a dehydrator. Um, the main the thing you've got to keep in mind is that the temperatures of the dehydrator goes up to 70 to 75 degrees Celsius as you'll be dehydrating meat products. So that's the one thing you have to keep in mind. Now I will show you a couple of images of dehydrators that are out there on the market and I will try and explain the pros and cons of uh, two different types which is the bottom fan dehydrator and a dehydrator with a back fan so if you bear with i'm quickly going to turn my camera around and my dogs are padding about as you can tell i'll turn my ca uh, camera around and i'll uh, show you all right be right back right as i said there's different types of dehydrators on the market um, you've got dehydrators with a top fan and a drip tray at the bottom you've got a, but mostly most common are dehydrators with a bottom fan and a drip, uh, drip tray at the bottom um, these three types all come with plastic trays uh, they can vary in colour, they can vary in the different types of plastic used, but at the end of the day, they all do the same job. Then you've got a different type of dehydrators, which are the case ones. You can get them with plastic trays, but you can also get them in stainless steel trays. And then you go over to the more expensive uh, industrial sites dehydrators. So that's basically the three main different types of dehydrators. Right, to start with this one, um, personally I haven't seen these before, but I did come across them when browsing the internet. Um, the advantage is the fan is at the top, so everything, every liquid that drips down goes into the drip oil at the bottom, so you don't have to worry about any liquid ending up in the fans or the heating element. These two are the most common ones. Uh, you can get them in all different shapes and sizes. I've got a square one uh, with a, a see-through tray, a clear see-through trays, but these come in all different sizes and colours. Um, and then you've got these ones again the, uh, with the plastic trays. The tr colours of the trays can differ. Uh, but they all basically work the same. The industrial sized ones, uh, obviously, as, it, uh, as most of us will be using it for home use, we don't have a need for that, so we'll totally skip that one. Right, so I already mentioned the advantages of this one. Liquid drips into the bottom. You don't have to worry about any liquid ending up in the motor part, e.g. the fan or heating element. So that would be a good choice if you're just first starting out. These ones, um, I've got one myself, I'll show you in a minute. Absolutely brilliant. I can't fault them. Uh, most of the times they're quite cheap to buy. So if you are on a low budget and you do want to get started, 
I can't, I personally can't fault them, so they would be a good choice. However, the trays do become brittle over time. Some become brittle uh, sooner than others. I mean, uh, with my within the first three weeks of having it, uh, the first two trays broke. So I uh, got in contact with the supplier, and he was nice enough to send me a complete new unit. So I had two units for the price of one, which I only paid twenty pounds. So can't go wrong with that but it lasted me for about two years so I haven't done too bad with it so yeah expect a shorter life expectancy from them due to uh, the trays getting brittle and breaking but they are there are some really good machines out there um then these ones uh again with the plastic trays i would worry about them uh, getting brittle and breaking and price wise they don't differ too much from the ones with metal trays so if you can invest in a good like, dehydrator i'd go for one with a metal tray stainless steel trays because you don't have to worry about the trays breaking or becoming brittle so at the end of the day it will be worth it it's not a lot of diff a price that's not a big difference in price so now to show you what i mean with a button uh, fan dehydrator and liquid running into the engine part e.g. the fan and the heating element I've got mine here oh quickly take the trays off right so this is uh, the one with the bottom fan this round bit here is where the fan is and the heating element this is a drip tray but as you can see there's only a small well so you either end up constantly dapping uh dapping away any moisture to prevent it from uh, leaking over which some people don't like but i personally i didn't mind it i mean at the end of the day i only paid 20 pounds for it so can't complain so yeah that's one thing you've got to keep in mind what i used to do is and don't mind how my trays look because the machine is over two years old and as you can see that's what I mean with the trays breaking and becoming brittle I can't even get them clean properly anymore after having used it so much what I used to do is put the bottom one uh, bottom tray on put some grease proof paper on it or uh, some kitchen towel obviously I cut that hole out then put another tray on top of that, and again a broken one. Put another tray on top of it, where you put your product on, and just keep stacking until all your trays are full. Now, once you've got your products on there, as the heat, all heat is coming from the bottom, the first tray gets all the water, all the heat. Then, obviously, the higher you go the less heat will be at the top. So what I ended up doing, it was switching trays o uh, over every so many hours. So the top tray would go to the bottom and vice versa. That to me is one of the minuses, having to uh, switch the trays. Other than that, I've never had any problems with it. Now, I recently acquired a new one, which is a back fan with stainless steel trays which is a huge upgrade for me and I'll show you the advantage I'm gonna to have to remove some trays sorry as you can see there the fan is at the back so all the hot warm air is divided equally over every separate tray so unlike with the bottom where all the heat has to rise up and thus you have to swap the trays over every time with this every tray gets the same amount of heat the extraction is at the top which basically is the same as uh, the other one because there's vent holes in the lid um, the other advantages because it's stainless steel easy to clean and you don't have to worry about them breaking now I find an found another thing that really came in handy and that is, oh, if I can get the crane properly. If you've got large items, 
either use um, fishing hooks or little bits of string and hang it from the top uh, top tray down so if you've got things like trachea just hang it from the bo uh, top tray so everything all the uh, excessive grease and such drips down into again this trick tray easy to clean can't fault it so that's basically the differences between uh, the different types of dehydrators one uh, with the bottom uh, bottom fan dehydrators, you've got to bear in mind the uh, amount of liquid that drips down. Make sure you keep it dry. So check regularly, uh, dip, it, uh, dip it down, remove as much moisture as you can. Um, yes, you might have to uh, swap out trays in between dehydrating times, but I didn't find that a big issue. The biggest issue is uh, the trays becoming brittle over time. This one I've used a couple of times now. As I said, I've only just recently acquired that one. But definitely, if you can uh, afford one, invest in one with stainless steel trays and you will not re regret it. But again, it all depends on your budget. Budget is the most important thing to look at. I can't tell you buy a five hundred pound dehydrator while you only have twenty pounds spare. Also, good way, a uh, good thing if you are looking for a dehydrator, check um, Facebook groups, check uh, pr uh, websites like Preloved and uh, things like that. People often sell them second hand, so you might be able to grab yourself a bag in there. That's basically it about the dehydrators. I hope you found it informative and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.